Dabo was saying, it doesn't seem like you missed a beat at all and you got really good chemistry with your receivers. Is that kind of how you feel right now? Yeah, we're all comfortable. Uh, we're still fixing some time in different plays, different moves. Uh, you know, routes and stuff that we were putting in, but um, at the end of the day, you know, I feel comfortable with it. You know, all, all my receivers uh, that I've been, you know, having the chance to, you know, go in the game with or uh, practice with, and, um, you know, we're all comfortable with one another, can communicate well, so it's been good. How close is this offense to being ready to go play Auburn? Uh, I mean, we're not close. Uh, we, we still have three weeks. We still, you know, it's camp, so we, we're putting in a lot of information, uh, a lot of different things, so uh, we're not, we're not, where we want to be, and we won't be until you know later on in the season. I mean, it's a, it's a work in progress, and great teams always get better each day. You know, they don't ever get complacent or, or decide when they're ready or you know finish off. You know, you know, trying to grind to you know, to be where they want to be. How confident are you in your preparation so far in camp? Do you think you've done exactly what you wanted to do so far? I mean, I feel good. I'm confident, comfortable. Uh, I trust my guys. Uh, and I, I trust my coaching staff and, and what they prepare me with. Trust, you know, the, the trainers and the, the weightlifting coaches that they, you know, put the muscle on over the off season and training camp and, and keeping me, you know, healthy. So it's been good so far. You said after the title game, you were probably going to wear the brace uh, the rest of your career. When, when did the decision? When did the change of mind come? I'm still wearing the brace. This is just camp. It's just practice. So I just. There's no point of wearing it in, in practice. You will still wear it in, yeah. in games, that is the fact. Deshaun, with all the attention that you're going to get this year, is there anybody, a, a friend, a family member, something like that, who you've talked to just to kind of prepare your mind, you know, for what's ahead? Um, I mean, no, nah, it, it comes with the territory. Yeah. Um, I knew it from the get-go. That's why you know, I put the position to play quarterback. Um, and, and I knew the role and the expectations that was going to come with it. So. You know, it's you know, nothing that I have to handle. Uh, God put me in this position for a reason, so uh, you know I'm you know fully prepared for it, and, and you know just you know, live in a moment and, and do what I do, you know the right thing. So was, I was gonna say, was there ever a time when you were nervous playing quarterback, and if so, when did that all go away? Um, not really. <laughs> I never was, uh, just because it's, it's football, so. Yeah. Something I love to do, so there's no point to be nervous. If I know what I'm doing and prepare it, and then yeah, it's no point to be nervous at you know, something you love to do. Now you've had several practices with Mike. We've kind of seen players. I mean, same guys the previous year. You know, he's confident, big. You know, he catches everything that he is thrown his way, and you know, he's just a great teammate to be around. This is a program that, especially last year, you guys thrived off being the underdog and people not believing in you. That's not the case this year. You guys are ranked number two, and you've been on covers and all that. Any fear that, not just individually, but as a team, the expectations will get too high and then the weight being too long going into a year like this? No, because the expectation always been best. And so that's the, I mean, that's the highest you can be. I and mean, there's never been a 15-0 team. Uh, there's never been uh, what this program we did last year, the program never had, um, other than the 81 team. Uh, so it wasn't you know, any, we have our own expectations, so we don't live up to any media or anyone else's. We, we have our own standards of what we believe in. And, you know, we've never been the underdog. You know, every time, every team we played gave our best shot. And we was number one all last year for a reason. And that's because people respect us and people knew that, you know, we was one of the best teams in the country. So uh, I, I disagree with the statement of, you know, being an underdog and people just so we slipping up on people. As, as, Sean, a, as, a, as a captain of this team, do you ever notice other guys hearing any of the hype or talking about, you know, this could be a special year because because there's been so much attention paid to Clemson this offseason? Uh, I mean, I guess. Uh, like Coach Sweeney always say, we do the oncoming things in the coming way. And if you do that, you draw the attention of the world. And that's what we've been living by. So there's a reason why all eyes is on us uh, because we're doing it the right way and we're doing it the you know, our own way, and uh, people want to, you know, it's drawing attention, so uh, it's, it's, we don't really care about the hype. We do what we do and, and you know, focus on what we got to do. What's been your early assessment of uh, Tavia Feaster so far, Deshaun, from what you've been able to see him early? I mean, he's a young guy, learning a lot of th different things. Uh, you know, he's learning how to practice at this level. Um, he's behind, you know, some great bets that's, that's played and, and done some great things, so. Um, you know, he, he's, he's coming along, and uh, you know it's gonna take some time. You know, everyone is not, you know, just gonna come in and just be an All-American on day one. You know, it takes the process and the work, and 
he understands that and he getting better each and every day. How about just his athletic ability? Have you been impressed by the, the I mean, speed? of course. He, if he wasn't fast or you know, athletic, he wouldn't be here. So um, everyone knew that from the get-go, so that's, that's no surprise. Dabo said that Tavian is playing at 65 miles an hour, but he's an above-the-speed-limit guy. Do you kind of see that, and, and, and is that something you've also noticed? Have you maybe talked to him about you know, playing at the speed you need to at this level? No, nah, because you know we have leaders in that group. Like Wayne Gorman out of choice, that's that's been coaching him up, and, and Tony Elliott. So uh, there's no no point to you know add my voice into the mix um, when they have guys over there talking to him. Uh, you know I just encourage him each and every day, um, and and you know he, he's gonna come along. So it, it's it, it's a process. You know I mean it's not gonna just click in. On, on, you know, day one, you know, it takes it takes time and him getting comfortable where he at. Are you comfortable with where Wayne and the rest of the running back situation is right now and the running game in general? Uh, yeah, I'm comfortable with, you know, all the running backs, with all the, the old linemen that's, you know, making the holes for him. And, you know, whoever is in the backfield with me, I'm comfortable with. So um, there's no no stress or anything with that. You, you know like what this team is capable of achieving. How would you assess where you guys are at in terms of, you know, achieving that potential that you know that you're capable of? Uh, we won't never be as, you know, close as that because we have a full year and it takes time. You know, we're not going to be, uh, you know, the, the best or, you know, where we start, you know, from day one or game one, we won't be the same, you know, game 12. You know, hopefully we'll be a lot better, uh, a lot more comfortable and, um, you know, doing a lot more exciting things. But, uh, you know, we're, we're good so far, you know, um, where we're at and, we have three more weeks to you know, prepare for Auburn and uh, get things situated. So you know, right now we're you know, focusing on Clemson. And then whenever that time comes, we'll be ready for you know, whoever that opponent is. Deshaun, it sounds like you are prepared for whatever might come your way this fall. Not, not everybody always is. A couple of years ago, Clowney was expecting a big season. Maybe his last year in South Carolina, he didn't have that kind of big season. Are you wary of any of that kind of stuff? Or do you believe as long as I am who I am and play the way I can, I'll be fine? I just focus on myself. You know, uh, I don't care about you know previous players that had the hype or anyone. You know, I'm not just Davion uh, Clowney. I'm just Sean Watson. So I just focus on me and what my what I can do for my team. You know, I just play my role. You know, I stay in my own lane and, and do what I got to do. So uh, you know the hype is it is what it is. Uh, you know I, I know who I am and what I can do on the field and, and I prepare each and every week. So. Thanks. Yeah, it's just this team right now. A couple of weeks out and a few weeks before all them. How close are you? to be ready for that first game? Uh, we won't be ready until, you know, that morning of game time. Um, it's never a finished process or, or, you know, never a moment where, you know, you feel, you know, very good until, you know, you get there on the field and, and warming up. So uh, it's always something that you can fix um, and, and always something that you can watch and make sure you're, you know, feeling comfortable uh, when that game time comes. Would you be happy just right now in this process where you guys are at? I mean, we're fine. Uh, where we at, you know, it, it's, it's camp and it's a lot of different things. A lot of people, you know, we've been rolling for two weeks, so a lot of people are, you know, banged up and, and tired. But at the same time, you know, that's what that's what camp is for. You know, find out who's, you know, ready for the big moments and who's not. And, uh, you know, it separates the, the good and the and the, the bad ones. And, um, you know, right now we're just, you know, taking it day by day. That being said, is there anybody taking this process for granted coming off of great season and, and with the ambition that you guys have? No, we all grinding. Uh, we all, you know, staying level-headed, staying humble, and uh, we all putting in the work. And we know that we have to start over. You know, last year is last year. You know, it's a brand new year, so we have to focus on the moment now. You ever find yourself having to grab somebody by the collar and say, come on, that's not the way we do it? Uh, no, nah, everyone understands. And, uh, you know, we, we understood that from day one. Uh, whenever we report it, and uh, you know everyone understands the journey and what Coach Smitty wants to do for this team and what you know this program is about. So I don't have any problems with that. We just got a tour of the new uh, football operations center. How, how much are you looking forward to, the, to that grand opening? And will that possibly uh, keep you around another year? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Man? Who knows? <laughs> we just have to see what the future brings. Anything else? Do you name somebody who did well today that you were impressed with? Uh, of course, Adam Choice. You know, he lit it up, and he tell that he felt comfortable um, and, and back to his normal. So uh, it was good to see him back, you know, running the ball. With not a lot of classes left to go in the fall, are you looking forward to, or will it make a big difference in your preparation? The fact that you're not going to have a, 
ton of classes to worry about this fall. No, nah, I'm still going to prepare the same way uh, that I had before. You know, it's, it's uh, you know, a certain amount of time and, and you know, effort that you put in preparation. You don't want to over-prepare and then you don't want to under-prepare. It's a balance that you have to keep each and every week. And, you know, even though I have, you know, a less load of classes, nothing's going to change. Still going to the same process. Sean, can you talk a little bit about why you decided to wear the number four year old career and just what that number means to you? I mean, I was you know, for my whole life, so that was probably the reason why I wanted to wear it. And you know, it's just a number I just always had, so I just wanted it pretty much. Do you talk much to Fuller? Nah, I mean, I, I mean, I see him around, I see him, and talk to him, but not, not too much. Hey, I spent all Thursday in Gainesville, and uh, Miss Frierson said to tell you hello. And yeah, she loved you. 